results. What do you do with statements in the Bible, for example, they're right in the beginning in the book of Genesis, where it says, and God gave every seed-bearing plant and every tree with fruit on it to man. What do you do with a statement like that? And to every animal. The word every is a very big word. To every animal he gave the plants of the field, the green herbs. That would make every creature in the beginning a vegetarian. There is not a scientist in the world who would corroborate such a story. Well, it fascinated me. And so I became very involved in this line of research. And I started researching animal physiology in terms of nutrition, comparing their reactions to animal protein versus plant proteins. And I came to amazing conclusions with absolute unbelievable results. No matter which animal you test, it seems that they are geared for plant protein and not animal protein. The interactions at the physiological level, no matter which parameter you tested, whether it be the blood parameters, whether it be the anatomical parameters, there was a major effect of the one diet versus the other diet. And then the health benefits of a vegetarian diet, not only for man, but for the animal kingdom as well. Amazing results. So the evidence, although seemingly piled up against the Bible, is being contradicted by the very results that you find in the laboratory. And the Bible and the story of the Bible becomes more and more plausible. <laughs>